Hello guys, welcome to EZTV Presents Tech View, another episode. And in this episode, I'll show you some GPU policy, group policy. So in your environment, um, you will have maybe multiple types of GPU policy. But today I'll show you one specific GPU policy, which can gives you the ability to provide uh, to provide access where to provide access to some user groups. Like for example, um, user groups permissions as a local administrator. Each and every Windows server, when you build by default is created a local admin, which is called administrator. Without this, there is no more local administrator. But for some reason, not only that, um, if your organization has uh, like some baseline GPO policy or maybe it's hardened with the security policy, Windows definitely is going to be hardened through the GPO policy. That means either CIS benchmark policy will be applied or maybe NIST policy, NIST baseline policy will be applied or maybe um some other stick or baseline policy is going to be applied on your environment so whenever you have a baseline gpu policy baseline gpu policy means is, is based on your operating system means 2007 uh, sorry 2016 2019 um, or 2022 or any kind of server operating system or windows 10 or windows 11 any kind of operating system each and every one has own um, baseline. Like there is some organization who maintain those baseline. I already named those uh, uh, like organization name, which is CIS or NIST or STIG viewer or something uh, or, or DOD, DOD security baseline. So if you use those baseline is gonna be inside one like each and every operating system has two kind of base a two uh, two baseline policy and each baseline policy has a multiple types of settings multiple means maybe 2000 settings inside one policy so if you have a baseline policy that will protect that will disable RDP uh, access as a local admin. That means if you are an administrator user, if you are a administrator user, still you will have problem to the to do the RDP. Your user has the administrative privilege access, still you will have problem with the RDP access because you baseline policy disable that capability. So in that case, your user needs to have your user needs to have permissions as a local administrator. That's what I'm gonna discuss right now. Local administrator permissions. That means it doesn't matter if your uh regular account or it's your uh administrative account, if we will be able to assign that user as a local administrator inside the server, then you will be able to do the RDP. There is no issue. So, seems like it's pretty easy, right? But the thing is, think about if you have a 200 server or 300 server, and you are going to assign somebody access as a local administrator, right? And next day, another person is requesting you, can you give me access these five servers as a local administrator? You have to log in each and every individual server. And then there is some settings. You have to go there and you have to add the user to provide a local administrator privilege access. So instead of doing this, you can apply a GPU policy through the policy. So if you add a group and if you send that group 
as a local administrator through the uh, group policy, then you don't need to go each and every server. If it is a 200 server or 2000 server or two lakh server, it doesn't matter. You just need to link the GPO policy and on the groups, you just need to add a user. So whatever the users you're gonna add on that groups, all of them will have access as not access, like as a RDP access as a local administrator. So that's what I'm gonna show you practically. Let's get started. So I'm going to share my screen and I'll show you shortly. So this is my jump machine basically. Um, I'll do everything from the jump machine and I'll show you from the my jump machine. So if you go to any member server, so my jump machine is a member server. So how are you gonna check the local administrator? How you check the local administrator? So if you type QM computer, then you're gonna see, it will pop up here shortly, computer management. You see here, computer, I just type computer. Computer management, go to the computer management. Each and every server has this option. 20, 2012, 2016, 2019, 2022. So, okay. So you will get this window and from this window, you have to go to the local users and groups. So you, this option is available only the client server or a member server, whatever you can say. That means this machine is a member of the domain. But if you go to the domain controller, if you go to the domain controller, this is the domain controller, right? DC, DC01. If you go to the domain controller, if you have a 50 domain controller, 20 domain controller, four domain controller, doesn't matter. If it is a domain controller, you will not get this option. You can, you will got, you, you, will, you can get computer management, but you're not gonna see local users and groups. That's why I'm showing you from my jam machine because my jam machine is, is also a member machine, member server, like it's a member of domain, or you can say client machine or client server. So go to the user. By default, you see the administrator is the user, right? Administrator is the user, which is built-in administrator. And if you go to the groups and there's a by default administrators group created, right? So double click on it, administrator, and you see here, I actually I have some user, I am going to remove it. So this user added manually, this user added manually. I am going to remove this one. So domain admin, okay, so think about domain admin also remove. Maybe some domain admin has a like a um, super permission. But if you can delete this one and you can assign another groups, that groups will have it, the same kind of permission on this machine, on, in, on this machine, okay? So, um, I'm going to remove everything. Basically, it's gonna be like domain admins and administrator, which is the build, building administrator, right? How you can assign Say for example, I have, uh, you see here, I have a lot of users. See all those users, how I can assign as a administrator. And also I have a group. So I have a group called infrastructure. And right now there is no member. Go to the properties, you can see here, there is no members, right? I will add some member here. Okay. So first we're gonna create some policy and see how it's behaved. So right now there is no nothing right. So I'm gonna add infrastructure group here. The infrastructure group I'm gonna add it as a local admin through the GPU policy, not not individual. I can individually add it here like like this. Infrastructure right? Check and then okay. So that means infrastructure group is added. And if you add any member, so for example, let me see who has user account, service account. Okay. IT stuff. Admin Safe Senior. Okay, let's see how, what the user name is. Properties. Account. Okay. So ADM Safe 01, right? ADM Safe 01. Okay.
I don't know, like a long time ago, I created this user, so I forget the password. So that's why I'm resetting the password. You don't need to follow this one for in this case. Okay. I just want to make sure I have the right password. Okay, anyways. So I'm going to add this user to this group. And also there is a, another regular user. You see a standard user, Saif Senior has also a standard user. Just Saif01. So there is two Saif user, right? One is ADM Saif01, which is administrator Saif. And this is only Saif01, that means a regular account, right? So regular account, have, no permissions it's just a regular account right and regular account like will not have rdp permission usually right but if you want you can give this user as admin as a rdp uh, rdp access so uh let me let me reset this one this one pass up to i don't know like long time ago i set it up Okay, so I just reset it and then I'm going to add the, these two users, same. Add to the group, which group? Infrastructure. Infrastructure. Okay, it's added. And now I'm going to add this one, side, admin side. To the group the structure okay it's added now we can check the this group members the both are the members right so two users i assigned so far in this group and now you see here infrastructure right apply Okay, so I added manually infrastructure group as a local administrator here. This is the process, manual process, right? And let's check their access. So I'm going to sign out from here. Sign out. Okay, I'm just going to move here. So in this machine, now I will, I will gonna log in as a, okay. I just sign out from there. So in this machine, this is the machine, jump machine, right? So I'm gonna use, log in as a ADM, ADM, Saif, zero one, and my password. Okay. So we'll click on it. All right, see ADM Saif Senior, I'm, lo I'm able to log in because I added ADM Saif as a local admin, right? No, actually not directly to the infrastructure group, right? The group name is infrastructure. Group name can be anything, it doesn't matter. But I um, I have provided group name as a administrator. So, uh, sorry, um, infrastructure. So you can, you can do anything like group name, okay? So since infrastructure group assign as a local administrator group so whoever the member of that groups will have the rdp privilege access right so that's how i'm able to log in as a adm site now i'm going to sign up from here and now i'll log in as a just only site okay so now i'm going to log in as the only site see Saif so Senior is just a regular account. You see, Saif01. I'm logging with this one. So I'm able to log in in one machine. But how I provide that access? Basically, I did it manually. How I did it? I did it manually. So how I did manually? Just go to again.
computer management. If you go to the computer management, this machine is a little bit slow anyway. Okay. You see user, uh, groups, administrators, and because of this one, I assigned manually, right? I added manually. But how are you going to add this manually to, right? you, this is one server is fine. You can do it. Two server, you can do it. But if you have a 200 server and these two users, if you need to assign these two users to 200 server as a local administrator, do you think is it, it is possible? No. So what do you need? You need a GPU policy. You need a group policy. So I'm going to remove this one and I'll show you how through the GPU policy these groups are going to be assigned here. You see clearly I, I removed it, right? There is nothing, right? So I'm going to add this user. I'm going to add this user through the GPU policy. So let's see how I can create the group policy. Okay. So tools. You can do it from here on, on the like activity server or anywhere. It doesn't matter. So go group policy. So group policy and create a group policy. So where are you going to create a group policy? Group policy object under here, right? Right click and new. And you can say um, local admin. Group access as a local admin. Group RDP access. RDP. Group RDP access as a local admin. So this is the group RDP access as a local admin. Right click on it and edit the settings. I just created this name and then edit the settings. Go to the group policy uh, policy, and then Windows. And expand a little bit just to see clearly. And Security settings. Under the security settings, you're going to see the restricted group. So on the restricted group, right click on it, say add a group, browse. What is the group name? Infrastructure, right? You can have in different name, different group name. So if it is different group of them, search with the different group name. Check. I found it. OK. And then click OK. So when you click OK, it's going to open another window like this. Go to the bottom one. You see the this group is the member of. So I'm going to make this group as a member of administrator, which is the default groups, right? Browse. D-M-I-N-I-S-T-R-A-T-O-R-S, administrators, which is default one, default administrator groups, administrators group. Right? Okay. Apply. Okay. And done. And you are done. So if you refresh, go to the settings. And now you, you can look at here restricted group. Group name is this, right? And member of a built in administrator, which is built in by default, right? So now, the infrastructure group has the same kind of access like as a building administrator group and whoever the member and is going to be, and also what type of a building administrator can do a lot of stuff right but these users can do the same kind of stuff only where whatever the machine you provide the access right so the this is how you can give the permission. So right now, I just created the policy. I didn't apply this policy to the computer object. So where I need to apply, if you go to the computer object, 
I'm going to delete this one. This is old one. Okay, anyway. Servers. So if I added here, that means whatever the servers I have here is going to be applied there. Or you can apply on a computer goes object here. Is it doesn't matter, it's up to you where based on your OU structure, which server you want to apply. So if I apply lead and if I apply here, then it's, it's gonna be applied to all servers. If I apply here, that means it's gonna be applied in in management, if it is a Windows 10 or mobile workstation or every everything is gonna be applied, right? So I'm going to apply only for the server, for example. So if I link it here, then it's going to be applied for NY data center servers. Also, it's going to be applied for um, B data center, Virginia data center. Anyway, you can say link existing GPU. So I want to link it here under the server. So link existing GPU. What is the GPU policy group, RDP access, local admin, right? Okay. So I just assign. And I know, I know our server is here under any one of them. So if you want to verify, go here and go to the computer object, server, maybe Virginia. And if you go to 2019 development, you see jump machine is there, right? So it's under server, right? Maybe sub some sub OU, but anyway, it's gonna be applied. If you look at here, go here, refresh it. I just link it, right? Go to computer object, servers, BA, 2019, development, right? Our server is under development, right? If you look at here, see, under development, right? So on the GP policy side, if you go there, and group policies here, software installation. There is some other uh, GPU is applied, but anyway, uh, which one we applied? This one, right? This one. So now how we can test it? This is already linked. That means this policy will gonna be applied to the jam machine or whatever whatever the machine, like if, it, if this, OU has a 50 machine, that means this policy is going to be applied for all 50. If, if this OU has a 200 machine, it's going to be applied with all 200 machine. So by default, GPU is going to be applied within two hours on the server. But if you want immediate action, what you can do, just go to the um this is the look this is um this is my jump machine right so i want to i want to check the policies applied on the jump machine or not and look at here there's nothing right i'm going to run on the you see the computer management groups administrators and administrators properties the infrastructure group is not added here so i'm going to just look at how it changed through the GPU. So if you want to get the GPU immediate result, you have to run a command CMD. Run this command, say GP update slash force and hit enter. So it's, you're going to see here the change. You see, I'm, I, that's why I just opened this one here. And look at here. Okay, I have some other policies is creating some issues. Okay, cancel. Just come here and you see here infrastructure group is here now. Did I add it manually? No, this comes automatically.
So you are able to see this one automatically. Now, just now log in as a site 01. Uh, I'm going to log out from here, sign out from here. I'm going to log in as an admin site. ADM site 01. You see, I'm able to log in. I'm going to log off. Okay, I'll show you, I'll give you another proof. Now, you know two user, right? Only two users here, right? Now I'm gonna add another user on the groups. I just, I don't wanna do, I don't wanna touch the this machine, jump machine. Think about there is a 200 machine affected with this policy. So, and also only two users has permission previously, right? Now I'm going to add another user. So let's add another user. Say for example, David, ADM David. Go to the properties, look at is ADM David 01, right? Okay, let me just re, uh, reset the password because long time ago I said it. I can't remember. Okay, all right. Let's change. So I'm going to add David to the infrastructure group. Add to the group. What is the uh, group name? Infrastructure. Infrastructure, right? Check, okay. So now infrastructure team, if you look at here, uh, sorry, the infrastructure group has three users now. You see? Three user, David is also added, right? So I didn't touch this this machine, right? I'm going to just sign out from here. And I'm gonna log in this jump machine as a admin ADM David. A D M D A V I D David 01. And let's see how David join. All right, you see. ADM David Jr. has now permission. Able to do the RDP. So that's all. That's all. And I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll be able to uh, do the same GPO for yourself if you or, or for your organization. And if you need like multiple groups, needs multiple servers uh, as a local admin privilege access. So create a multiple GPO policy based on the your group name or tenant name. It's up to you, but, but this is the policy. This is the way. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Uh, and also don't forget to give a big thumbs up and also make some comments. And your comments encourage me to make more videos for you guys. And thank you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on another video.